Peck Plaza stands unique in this community, tall and round, but it's also unique for the one-two punch it took first from Hurricane Matthew in 2016 and the next year, Hurricane Irma. It's been a long journey for them. A four-year journey for the 100 or so owners of condominiums in the 29-story landmark property. Hurricane Matthew punched a hole in the top of the building, sending water pouring through. Windows and sliders shattered. The next year, Hurricane Irma added insult to injury. They've been out of their home for almost four years. So that's got to be wearing on these, these owners, but it is great to see them come in here. They're like little kids when they get here. Everything has been changed out, replaced, brought up to code and hurricane rated. Contractors are still working on some of the common areas, but the building is now considered safe so that individual owners can get inside their units. Dave Everest is one of a half dozen who have moved back in. It ended up being a lot bigger task than we originally thought. But four years later, you're finally back. We are back in, and we're very delighted to be back into the building. Insurance certainly covered a significant portion of rebuilding, but there have also been special assessments for additional work, not to mention the cost of a temporary home. They've had to pay their mortgage here, plus a rent and mortgage elsewhere, so it's been a tough time for these owners. One sad chapter closes this book. A 90-year-old resident told everyone he just wanted to live long enough to get back in the building. He died just a few months ago. In Daytona Beach Shores, Volusia County, Claire Matz, West 2 News.